Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It is Friday. Welcome to Good Morning Success with Don Nicole and Demario. All right, it is Friday. T G I F, baby. What does that stand for? Thank God it's Friday. Or as we learned last week, trust gut instincts from the start. I just, I, I just had to bring that up again because I thought that was so hot that that was worthy of a of a second mention, right? Trust gut instincts from the start. Good morning, you guys. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome to Good Morning Se Success. Oh, I need some more coffee. What was I going to say? What are you going to do? The coffee. <laughs> the, the coffee cheers. Right, right, right. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Charmel, good morning, girlfriend. I have not seen you on here. I don't think so. Welcome. If you have been on here before, welcome back. Good Morning Success is a daily inspirational show for the driven me and my mate here, a couple preneurs, Demario and I, we get the pleasure of uh, working together all throughout the day, throughout the year, throughout the week. But this hour is, is really important because it's an extension of our relationship and we get to talk business, talk life and talk uh, success. So we will give everybody time to come on. If you are new to the show, if this is your first time, we do this, what babe? Every morning? Every morning, what 8 a.m. <laughs> Facebook Live, ask. Don Nicole. Uh huh. It's, it's your call sign. And hey, then we got an instant replay. Well, was... not an instant replay, but you know, it's a replay of all of the episodes uh -huh. in one location. On and, YouTube? Yes, yeah. on YouTube. Oh, but all you have to do is type in goodmorningsuccesstv.com and you can check out all the episodes. Yes. We are on episode 24. Awesome. And you, you don't want to miss it because we talk about all kinds of stuff. We talk about. Gosh, we talk about life. We talk about finances. We try not to make it too heavy. I think what makes our show different is, um, hey, good morning. Glad I got a chance to tune in with y'all today. Miranda, thank you for showing us that love, girlfriend. Welcome and good morning to good, welcome to good morning success. You can tell I need some more coffee. But um, I was just letting everyone know that, like my, my mate here said, you can definitely go check us out on Good Morning Success TV. Now we have the YouTube channel. We're getting some interest. So we're changing the format of our live show just a little bit. I can't say good morning to every single person now. Um, but she will. Good morning, Peter. And that's it. That's the last. Okay, y'all, hold me accountable. That's the last one. Oh, thank you, Charmel. We appreciate you, girl. I appreciate that love. I know... Demario does, but we were going to say some of the episodes we've already covered. We've had some funny times. We've had some crazy times. I think uh, what makes us unique is we don't we don't take ourselves too seriously. The content is super serious, but we just try to have a good time while sharing nuggets that guide you to success. And we love it being interactive. So what do we normally do, babe? Tell them about the format of the show just a little bit. Oh, well, we just really break down. Just kind of give you a rundown of what you will experience here. First, we're going to talk about What's on your agenda? What's on your agenda? And what's on your agenda? What's on our agenda? Of course, that's that's the thing. Then we're going to give you a little things that you might not know that's going on around the world. World news. Then, then we're going to drop into the subject. And as Peter, my man, always asks me, what's the word of the day? What's the word of the day, babe? What's the word and of the day? And I never know. I find out the word of the day when y'all find out. So let's, let's the hear The word it. of the day is love. Wait, it, it, say it again, babe. Say it again. Love. Now, that can be downloaded at our website and yes. used as a ringtone at www.whatsyoursecretsauce.com. Yes. So, you are, the word for the day is love because it ties right along with does. our subject, which is. Yeah. So, our subject is learn how to love, but don't date it. Now, some of y'all saw that subject this morning and said, man, I'm tuning in because look at here. I don't know how they're going to spin this because that's the thing. We have some wild and crazy subjects, and you never know how we're going to spin it, but this one is so good. So first, I got I have to set this up real quick. Well, I got I just got to respond, because I'm going to do like... Okay, go, go ahead. Because Peter just said, y'all make me feel great each morning. Oh, yeah. that's, that's powerful there, because you know what? I'm going to get the shaker with y'all, too. Y'all make get, us get feel great every morning, too. Yes, yes. Ooh, 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 y'all know she gone, she gone. If you don't get out of the camera, she gone. I'm back. But, ooh, 15 <laughs> seconds of fame that I had right there. Please share this video just for that moment. No. So listen, he, he's absolutely right. Uh, Demario and I love, love, love what we do in case it doesn't tell but uh, or doesn't show. But this is the thing. A lot of people will ask us, where do we get our topics from? And don't we tell people all the time, this show is really an extension of our relationship. It would be as if you were a fly on the wall. 
we because we work together right as couplepreneurs so all we do is like discuss things we we debate things we challenge each other we do oh. not always our, agree our debates are serious. serious we don't always agree and there are times that we're working so hard that one of us will take the other and say that's it i'm pulling you up out of work let's go on a walk so here's where the great debates for the, in the topics for this show come from when we go walking and we break away from the work the fulfillment um we start talking i might have a low moment where i'm like listen i don't understand i'm doing this demario might and through encouraging each other and talking about things or experiences we get inspiration for the show that's why we call this daily inspiration for the driven but today's topic i'm so excited it is called learn how to love it but don't date it i know that this is for someone especially if you are an unagi sauce like us if you don't know well like me Demario is a soy sauce. If you want to know what your secret sauce is, go to whatsyoursecretsauce.com. Take the free assessment. As many, many people who are watching the show right now have taken the secret sauce. So we know Shelton's secret sauce is aioli sauce. Peter's is unagi. Cat's is a cocktail sauce. They all know the power of that sauce and what it means. Don't be left out. Go take your secret sauce for free. It'll tell you who your best partners are and your best clients are. But this is going to be a great episode. But before we begin, what's on your agenda? What do you guys have going on? It's Friday, right? Hopefully you have a little bit of a light day. So tell us what's on your agenda. Tomorrow, baby, what's on our agenda today? I always turn it over to you. You always look like, what? That's yeah, because, you know, you I put know more things on the calendar than just, I do. Just but I just follow. Question. We have meetings. I know that I've seen a lot of connect. The dots. One is a collaborative meeting. Yes, yes, meeting today. Um, As you know, we've been working very diligently um, in the DI community today. You know, if you don't know what the DI community is, you need to go back a couple episodes. I'm not going to break it down this time because the clearance level just went up. First of Um, all, the DI community. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You can't speak on it too much. Our clearance level just went up. Okay. So we've been working very diligently. <laughs> um, so shout out to Spotless LLC. Go to Spotless LLC. Just check them out. Sheila Capers. Hi, Sheila. I was going to and her team because her team watches us every yeah, morning, right? Well, so I was just and, and the team, but I wasn't going to mention that because Sheila is part of the DI process. Oh, my god. Uh, we've been doing something internally, and y'all will love it. Um, you know, also Dondi Burrell. Dondi Burrell. Dondi Burrell. Dondi ain't even on the yeah, show. Dondi, well, we'll shout him out anyway. <laughs> Dondi Burrell, we've been doing some straight up DI stuff behind you. <laughs> Terry Budget, straight up DI stuff behind you. What Terry is DI Bud- so people know what that means, honey? Well, I wanted them to go. Uh, digital Investigations. <laughs> uh, we've actually been determining if the target market you are seeking has been a homicide, a suicide, or just missing. <laughs> Um, once we do our investigation, so we can usually solve the problem in 90 to 180 days. Where is and your target market? Yes, your, your target market might be on the back of a milk carton right now. Oh, and, my God. And with, with our team, we investigate where's your target market, and we connect you back to them, and it's all love. So get, in, get into our DI process. Awesome. But anyway. So, so we do have some real things. Thank you, honey, for sharing that part. So, not? again, this is Good Morning Success. We do this every single day. This is episode, I think, 24 or 25. This is episode 24. Episode 25, Daily Inspiration for the Driven. Okay, no, I I forgot which one it was, darling. I you, wanted you, you to correct said, you me. Said, oh, you did? Oh, she, uh, see? That's how Boy, you better drink some more coffee and get with it. She All right, listen. It. So, daily inspiration for the driven. Um, we th- we do this every single day to, to share strategies with each other and to share hot topics, which Demario has a smoking hot topic um, to discuss in world news. And then we're going to jump right into learn how to love it, but don't date it. We all need to hear this nugget. And again, sometimes when we're sharing things, it's it's for us too. It's a reminder, which is what I love about us coaching and consulting because as we're guiding people, it continues to remind us how to act accordingly and, and, you know, the strategy. So without further ado, share what you guys have on your agenda. One thing I am excited about today, two things I'm excited about. We have um, a nice, a great meeting set up at 11 o'clock a.m., 
very far from here. It's kind of far. It's way across town with um, an all-female firm who is doing it. They are servicing a national market. They are in the technology space, major players, and we are going to talk collaborating on some things. I love collaboration. A lot of people feel like you can't work in the same space with somebody, but there is such a, a thing as collaboration and outsourcing and third party. And you guys better get with it. Remember, we talked last week about operating from a state of fear or abundance. When you operate from abundance and you understand your role and your place and your contribution, collaborating is cool. Mm -hmm. um, and you know who else we're talking to? We have several meetings set up today with um, people in the recruiting market, people who do, if you guys know someone, this is good. We are interested in talking to people who do college prep. So if you know a male or a female who works with high school students to prepare them for college, right? We want to talk to that person. If their role is college prep, we want to talk to them. We are talking to some of those people today and about using the Western mm -hmm. Secret Sauce for the college students so that they can have a competitive advantage getting into the school systems. So, breaking news, honey, headline news. What's what's hot? Oh, this is deep today. This is deep. Okay, tell the people what's this, going on. I deep. don't even know what's going on. So. Well, all right, what breaking as, news? As you know, a couple of it was a couple of days ago we were talking about Uber and the London situation. Oh, yes. Uber Wait. was in the news. You, was, you okay, remember quick that? Re quick reference so that people who All right, so quick reference a few episodes ago we talked about during last week's London attacks Uber got slammed by the media because they decided during the attacks to increase and hike up their prices. And so we had a business debate about how we felt. DeMario took the standpoint that it was okay. It's called Business 101, of course. And a demand is sure that you hike up your prices. I said it would have been a better PR move and strategy if I were their strategist to actually uh, give away in a crisis some of the rides for free, which makes you look like the hero. So it could have been the first 50 people or a 24 hour um, something, right? Where, and and this is why uh, firms need a contingency plan when there's pandemic and, and stuff. But anyway, so that, that was the discussion we had last week, but go ahead. Well, that was Uber in London. Right. So Uber in Asia is uh -oh. making some noise. What right they? Now. What are they doing? Um, you know, well, hey, the, Good morning. the Uber executive, matter of fact, their president by the name of Eric Alexander has been fired. And this is in Asia? Yes. He's okay. the president of Uber in Asia. Okay. He has been fired because he's been sharing a rape file. Obviously, one of the... This, the, the patrons of the Uber scenario was raped, and he was carrying the file around sharing it with his friend. What? But this comes now. This is the very okay. interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fix this, my this, face. Yes, because this is going to be fix deep. Your face, don't this comes me. right after they just let go 20 employees for sexual harassment to the people that gets in the cars. Wait, wait, wait. So let me, let me, uh, let me hold up, babies. This is so good. I just gotta, I just gotta marinate with it. What you're saying to us, first of all, because you say it, and it's like you're saying that 20 Uber drivers were recently arrested. For, dismissed. Or dismissed. They, they say, they say I dismissed. I need some more coffee. <laughs> because it's still allegations. Okay, to prove it. So they were recently dismissed for sexual harassment? Sexual harassment um, and, and workplace, uh, what they say, workplace sexism. Okay, and so this was sexual people. harassment of the people, yeah, the you passengers. Yeah, you get in the car, yes. And it's like, hey girl, you here, let's do a reenactment. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I just got in your car. I'm in the back seat. <clears throat> where, the back where are you seat. going, ma'am? Um, I don't know. Two blocks down, I'm really busy. Just get me there. Two blocks down, you know, yeah. it's, it's a, three blocks down. We can go back to my place. What? Yes, you know, you're looking for. I have there. a boyfriend. Thank you. Uh, oh girl, my God. You know, it's the reason they they called us Uber. You know what? Ooh, I, think, Uber, I think I'll get baby, out right here. Baby, I, the keyword. Ooh. I'm gonna baby, get out the right here. Keyword. Burr. Yeah. Burr. Uh, you know, I'll make you. I'll make you. I'll make you burr. Okay. Okay. Burr. So you guys get the. You guys get the. Burr. 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 Honey, you, what is wrong with you? This is a welcome to Good Morning Success. Oh my God. Okay, honey. All right, back. Peter, to we're the, changing the word of the day. No, to, we're not. Uber. No, we're not, Peter. Well, Uber, you know, like I say, they're they're in the news again. Um, it's a big investigation going on, and um, obviously, Uber uh, around the country is having wow, a little Uber. problem with um, you know. Messing with the, the people that's driving. But, you know, you got to look at it like this. I mean, messing with the people that's riding. But right, sure. I, I, I would right. say it just like right. this, though. Um, I, go through. <laughs> I would say, you, you know, I'm going to say it in this way because y'all know I love a great debate. But what do you expect? What do you mean, what do you expect? You talking about from the drivers? 
Yes. In, in a lot of cases, what do you expect? Because Uber is a situation where it's not necessarily a, a deep and vetted training organization to get behind the wheel and learn customer service and things of that nature. Oh. You basically just pick up and say, hey, I want to drive. And I'm pretty sure you go through a little process, but as long as you can drive and you got a car, I'm pretty okay. sure they let you yeah, in. Yeah, you know I'm getting ready but to tear we, that we not Because, you know, they, did, they had an incident one time of a, um, a, of a, a felon. Uh huh. Driving and, and I, I think yeah, well, I think it became a serious case because see, I'm driving you to your house and things like that. And not nothing against felons, but on this particular incident, it made news because obviously he did something well, that was in line with what he came. Well, from. let's talk about that for a second, and then and then we're gonna get to the real topic. So by by the way, this is a great time to share or tag. We are gonna talk about dating, but don't love it. I mean, I love it, but don't date it. Love it, but don't date it. Love it. Listen, um, Shelton told me he can't pack boxes. Well, that, that's him, Shelton. And Shelton, you know this is a liability. You watch the show, you're not gonna be able to do whatever it is you're doing. Correctly. I'll tell you what, the rest of the day, they're gonna, every time they pick, if, they, do, if they do an do Uber, do the they're gonna be like, Uber. Don't do That is so, no. <laughs> we don't, no. Okay. So, the point, I don't even remember now what I was going to, oh, so arguing the case with you. Let me, let me just say this and then we're going to get into today's thing, which is learn how to love it, but don't date it. Uh, <laughs> so, first things first, Uber is a multi-million dollar company. Uber has basically eliminated, erased, if you will, the, the thought, hold on, babe, I'm, I'm a, they have erased the whole entire old concept of the yellow cab, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm going to say. They have been compared to the Starbucks of the, the pickup world, right? The, the delivery, transportation, they revolutionized the way we look at transportation. Now, many millennials won't even ever have a yellow cab experience ever in life. We who were born in the 70s or 80s will know what that experience was, but millennials, a lot of younger, younger people will not. With that being the case, a company who comes up on the scene and grows so sizably the way that Uber does has a responsibility, a business responsibility, right? It doesn't matter how fast you grew or what you're trying to do or how you got to cut corners in order to get that type of revenue and, and, and uh, you know, uh, just type of acclimation to the market but what they do have to do is you still have to have a responsible business model so that means I don't care that you're growing by leaps and bounds you still have to have a system in place by which you're training people you make sure people understand the sexual harassment policy and you have background checks I mean obviously this is the closest you're ever going to be to somebody's in their vehicle with them this is this means I can touch you it's an arm's length transaction that means you have to from a risk aspect be absolutely sure that you're going through all of those checkpoints. I don't care how cookie cutter you want to be and convenient you want to be. You have uh, an economic responsibility to this marketplace to do it right or don't do it at all. Um, what makes Uber great from a customer experience is that we can we don't even have to call. We can pick up our, our iPhone units and we can have service in a matter of minutes easily, mm -hmm. right? As long as you have a credit card. What you can't do is put my life in danger. Nothing is worth uh, worth cutting corners for. So that's where Uber has to stand up and take responsibility as a giant and do what they need to do. Well, you so, know, I want to add something on to what you just said. You said millions. Well, you know, right now they're at seventy billion. Right. Seventy billion dollar company. And you know what? What's interesting is at the top of the year, I'm I'm reading here that um one of their major engineers, mm -hmm. female by the name of Susan Susan Fowler. Uh huh. She had, she basically had, you know, she experienced sexual harassment in the workplace as she worked for Uber. And she put what? out a blog and it became, the blog viral. went viral. <laughs> wow. So, so yeah. these, all of these things are kind of Uber, get it together. Uber, Call Uber. us. Call, you, need, you need some great strategy. I'll work with a strategy team. Uh, listen, one, th I know, this is, this well, is, just, you know, saying. I can change up their branding, you know. <laughs> I think they what, just what, went through a rebrand. No, but about. what we need to do, we need to add fuzzy dice on the mirrors. No, with every Uber driver. No, we do not. Honey. And we need to have like a you know leopard colored seat. Okay, covers. we're done. We're done and with we that need topic. To play that music. No. All right, going back to today. I am Uber. Okay, going back to today's theme. Okay, I'll, are you done? No, one more time. <laughs> with 
the chest pump in the in the and, okay. and, and, and like hairy chest with a with big a, with, with, a, a, with an eagle claw on with the V neck cut. Yeah. All right. Where you're driving to, babe. <laughs> that's insane. That's, that's something is wrong with you. Listen, no, don't, don't, don't egg. No. That would be it's Friday. This is that good was, morning success, not Friday. sexual harassment. Wouldn't that be so funny? You sitting there like, yes, oh I need an Uber, that's and then it pulls up. You hear the music come. Honey, you're yes. out of control. You are out of control today. Did you call Uber? Okay, listen. <laughs> All right, to the theme of today. So, Shelton, we know what you're doing Ooh, today. You're fun. packing. You guys have to share with us what you're doing today because that's that's part of what makes the show is what's on your agenda. While you're doing that, we're going to jump into the subject. Like, are you ready for this, babe? Learn how to love it, but mm-hmm. don't date yes, it. Yes, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Go okay. Ahead. Go ahead and break it down. All right, I'm going to break it down. First of all, let me set it up. You know I got to set it up. This is the time. So we're going to ask you to tag someone. Let me tell you who you should tag. Tag that person who has a million and one things that they're trying to do in life, right? They're trying to do 25 things. They're in love with everything. They complain of no sleep. They complain of being busy. Every time you see them, you got to book an appointment just to say good morning or hello. They're super busy and they feel like that's an effective way to live life. They're busy, but they're not productive. Tag that person, share it with that person because we're getting ready to go in. And let me start by saying, I sign up first for, I used to be that person. That's why I could talk about it, okay? So this is who you want to tag. This is who you want to share with it. Today's thing, we're going to get into it right now. It's called learn how to love it, but don't date it. So here's the thing. There are some overachievers in life, right? Like myself, you've got a class of people who are real cool. I wouldn't even say settled. There are some people who are cool with understanding that they don't need to do it all. They, They go to work. They spend time with who they love. They travel. They have a good time. And we know those people, uh, Karen and Vicky. They call that doing life on their own terms. Mm-hmm. And we envy, I envy that. You, you know you do too. Mm-hmm. We'll call them sometimes early in the morning because uh, they're clients of ours. And we, we have a work order or we have a question. And um, we'll get a nice friendly text, baby. We don't even start until 11 o'clock. We do life on our terms. We'll talk to you in two more hours. And we'll be like, did we just get it? Right? They're very, very no rush, low key. And one day, and where this is kind of coming from, they had a whole heart to heart. Now, they had a heart to heart conversation with me. And I was taking them through a coaching program. And I was on it. I had my briefcase and my heels clickety clacking. And they were like, baby, you got to learn how to just slow down and relax your calendar is on swole you got to so they call it the intervention and and i was like wow but my point is you have people who live life very comfortably i wouldn't even say complacent see this is this is what i learned to overachievers like us and because i think you can sometimes be in this category when we see people coasting and chilling right it sometimes uh can be misconstrued as complacency And we kind of judge that a little bit because they're not running. They're not moving. They're not growing. They're not like hustling like us. Right. And so we're like, look at them, man. They just settle. They just, but it may not always be settling. It may be people who have settled with the idea that I don't need to live this life, right? Accomplishing a hundred dreams before I die. So watch this. Somewhere along the way, I think it was in seventh grade, we all heard that poem, I think it was from Maya Angelou, that's called A Dream Deferred. And we thought, oh my gosh, if we have a dream, every single dream I ever have must manifest. If I die, I must manifest 100 dreams, right? And and that is it. So we work towards all 100 dreams. And I'm going to tell you something fascinating. Some things are designed to be loved, but not dated. Ooh, think about that for a second. Some things are designed for you to love it, want it, but you don't have to entertain every single thing. It is going to be okay if you make it to the end of the earth and you didn't fulfill 200 things. And you know why I say that? Because if you're like me, I am an ultra creative. My sauce is the unagi sauce. If you want to know your secret sauce, go find it out. As an ultra creative, it drives him crazy. Now, here's what an ultra creative does, and then we put this undue pressure on ourselves and other people. Mm-hmm. Every two days, we have a new idea. And we're like, oh, and sometimes creatives don't know the definition of done. I'm going to say it again. 
Creative people sometimes don't know the definition of done, and we believe it is our destiny to carry forth all 100 dreams to the end of the earth. And so what happens is we run our days, right? We spend our time, we spend our wills pouring, constantly running. We just ended this, I can't even sleep. I'm not even comfortable sitting still when there's beauty in sitting still sometimes. If, you, if you're still, you can hear. If you're still, you can see. But we just spin our wheels and we run ourselves ragged and rampant and we run other people and we fall out. You can't see my vision, forget you, you're not for me. And you're like, we're not even done with the first three visions, right? And you spend your time and you don't learn the most genuine, important lesson in all of it. You can love something and not have to date it. Understand, Demario said it, it was so profound to me because oftentimes I come back to him and I'm like, I just feel like I'm not living in my purpose. Like I'll just wake up, I'm a playwright, I should be writing plays. And then if you let me, I'm the female Tyler Perry, I should be writing films. People who know me know that I have a previous track record for stage playwriting and theater and all this kind of stuff, but I'm also a business person. So it runs him rampant because I always come to him waking up with a new epiphany, babe, I can see it. We're supposed to be doing this. And he's like, listen, so there's got to be a point. Oh, watch this, y'all. Dream responsibly. Mm -hmm. Dream responsibly. Especially if you are an ultra creative where you believe you have to fulfill all 200 of your dreams. I'm telling you that you probably will, will never live life. And when I say live life, you will not be operating in the power of now. If you are constantly chasing everything that pops in your mind. It's not bad that you have these innovative ideas, but they can't be roads to nowhere. You will run yourself crazy running to a hundred roads to nowhere simply because you got an inkling that that's what you're supposed to be doing, right? So let me tell you, I'm not telling anybody that you can't make it or you can't do that because I'm the queen bee of a hundred dreams. You have no idea. I have a CD out, poetry book, short story film. We did business together. Like I'm just Mrs. It drives me crazy. But what I had to come to realize is I told Demario one day, I think we were at breakfast when mm -hmm. I said, but I love it. I love theater. When are we ever going to get back to theater? When should I get back to theater? Right? I'm a creative. I have to create. And Demario said, um, well, you can love it, but you don't have to date everything. You did that already. This is the thing. I know to Kenya girl, that's why I said this is going to hit somebody today. I already produced two major stage plays, ran them nine times on tour. And what I forgot to remember is after I ran them, I was like dead to the world. I was so tired. I was so stressed. I didn't love that. I love creating. So Demario said, well, if it's creating you love, you can create plenty of things. You create every day when you create the business plan. You created secret sauce or you created this. It doesn't have to look like or be manifested in the way that you see it. It can look like something different. You can love it but not have to entertain and date every thought that comes to your head. Go ahead, babe. I know you got I know I'm just cutting it up. No, I'm, I'm just listening, you know. I'm just listening. Because, you know... I, too, used to be a Yanagi. Yeah. I lived many years as a Yanagi, being a creative. But one thing I realized is that you have to understand when you go through life and you're searching for peace and balance. You have to understand when does that dream can turn into a nightmare. It can mm. turn into a nightmare. Because it. sometimes you're chasing it so hard and you're not completing stuff. Mm. You're chasing things so hard, you, you're getting all frazzled and everything and stressed when stuff don't turn out. And see, when stuff don't unfold the way you want, what do you do? You don't reevaluate that stuff. You add pressure to yourself. Yeah. Then you, ultimately, you create something else. And while you're creating something, you get another idea and you create something else. You know, you, you heard that statement, jack of all trades, master, master of none. none. You know, one thing I realized, too, that when you're too creative, it will keep you... I ain't going to say broke, but it will keep you ooh. below the level that ooh, you should ooh, be ooh. at. Because you can't do you can't you can't do everything. And you know, I, and I had to I had to learn that because you know, I like we was talking about, I thought I was going to be this worldwide musician. And but you I, are one hell of a But I played musician, around the world so. a couple of times. So yeah. in my resume, I've done a lot of those things that I thought I was going to be. So in essence, I guess I was that. And I just changed it into something else. Because creating now is dealing with, you know, 
you know, websites, digital marketing, that's creative. creative it's the same yeah. thing as creating yeah. a song. So it, it is, it is very serious, you know, but on the subject to bring it home, to make people really get it. Yeah. Learn how to love it, but don't date it. How many of you been in a relationship? Uh oh, you about to talk about it, babe. Talk about it. And y'all two just couldn't get it together. Now you had love, but you just couldn't. It, it, it was just something just not work. Right, right. It's just something not work, and you and you really love that person, and you said, you know, I'm gonna have to love you from afar. Say that again, babe. I'm gonna have to love you from afar because I can't be with you because being with you requires. It, 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 we can't get something together. We we have all the emotions. Oh, I'm feeling you, but we just can't work together. <laughs> so therefore, you go through life understanding that I still love that person. Wow. But I can't be with that person. I can't date them. Mm. I want to yeah. tell you, it was a great movie that had nothing to do with that, but had a message of that. And I think it was called Hitchcock, the one that Will Smith was Yes, in, yes. Where he was the superhero, and at the end, you know, he met the, uh, his mate that was a superhero, and every time they connected, the energy would go bad, and things would destroy around the world, Ooh. because every time they connected, so they had to stay far away from each other, even though they really, they really felt, felt each other. Yeah, sometimes you have to treat your, your some of your creative ideas the same way. Stay away from them. Wow. Because they mean you, they, they not good. See, music to me was that, that chick that come back to the door. After she done beat you up a couple times, and you think, no, you opened up that music. You again. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's going to be different this time. <laughs> let's go to Japan. What a tight Let's, go, let's go to Japan. And I'll be like, oh, no. But after a while, you have to get brave and say, ding dong, this music. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, we have some great time. Well, I'm seeing business now. You're, you're seeing business click well, or, or slam the door. But this is what I love about what you said. So even in our relationship, I'll kind of, I'll, you know, I'm about to put some stuff out there. Um, when, when you and I, you know, started our relationship, you were at the height of your music career. You were like known as the baddest guitarist. By the way, this dude could play every single instrument. It's just ridiculous. He's so good. I'm his number one fan. But anyway, um, and so what happened is as our relationship grew, I said, baby, I know you want to play, right? You have to understand I'm a creative person and I don't want to be put in a box, right? So I used to encourage him. Don't you still want to play? You know, I you don't have to choose. I'm going to support. I want you to be happy. And he would say, no, I've done that. What I never really had was, you know, a love like this worth stopping and investing and slowing down. See, that's going to take me away. So watch this. Love it, but don't date it. That's going to take me off of the vision, the course that I have for this. That's going to have me out touring, you know, energy, this and that, and soon this will fizzle. So I have to understand my priority here. I can love music. When I want to play it, I can pick up that pretty red guitar and y'all, it is pretty. It is it's in our bedroom. He, he, he says, I can pick up that pretty red guitar when I want to and play a lick and go in the garage and heck, I get serenaded. So I love it. But he said the priority is investing into this and not being pulled away. I've learned how to love it, but not have to date it. And I thought that was so powerful, especially for, like you, like you just said, creative people. We have in our head that a dream deferred, but every single dream, if you have 200 dreams between now and your end of time, you're never going to live your life if you spend every waking moment chasing all 200. It's just not feasibly possible to do that. And some things aren't meant. You know, you know what? Just because you can do it or you like it doesn't mean that that's meant to be your life. Exactly. I'm serious. Exactly. Like, I love stage plays. I love short story films. But I've accepted the fact that with all the other dreams I have, I'll be okay if I don't become the female Tyler Perry because I'll be something else great. And I'm okay with that. I'm at a stage where I'd rather live and enjoy my life, enjoy the people I have, travel, you know, grow, have money being made in the background while I sleep, and I don't have to do all 200 things that I set out to do. Well, you know, the so. beautiful thing about it is, and I know some of you are saying, well, well if you love it, you know, you, you know, and if you're creative and you're great at it, go do it. You'll be but see, this is, what I, this is what I told her. I say, a lot of people depend on her to help them work out their business ideas. She's great at it. The business idea, she's great at putting things together and helping you, you know, 
go to a higher height. She's great at breaking things down in a business sense to make to help you make more money. Yes. She's even great at translating your ideas to me to build a digital marketing, process yeah. and a digital marketing behind it. She's great at that. That's creating a stage. Uh oh. Y'all y'all don't Uh oh. I see, see the shakes coming. That's the stage <laughs> right there. And the people that would normally be in the play are business owners. Yes. And she's putting it all together, even to make some of y'all talk and interact with each other. Yeah. You know, when necessary. So, therefore, her stage play uh -huh. is the work that she's doing. And wow. she gets paid for it. And it doesn't have to look like the way I thought. And that, that's the thing. And that's I think that's what is deep about this. And I want to pose this question. And good morning if you guys just joined. Hi, Paul. Paul and I grew up together way back when. Peter, uh, Peter says 007 is gifted. Peter, he's so gifted. That's how we met. He was playing the music to the track that I was singing on, and we were we were always really working together. Yes. Even as a musician and the singer, we didn't know. It was, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. throw that song up one day. Let's oh, check goodness. that song out. That song is they're not ready. For, they're not ready for that song. That anymore. song is. Oh my god! Y'all might think it's some little like. Tinker toy stuff because I know in today's time when people say, Oh, oh no, it's, it's when we do music, deal. they they throw it out there. But you gotta understand, I'm a serious musician, a, yeah. she's a serious <laughs> singer. The song was serious, matter of fact, <laughs> it was mixed by people that do Bruno Mars mixing and stuff yeah, like was, that. You know, it was serious. Speaking of, I paid a lot of money for that track, mm -hmm. it better mm -hmm. been mixed. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she paid me a lot of money for that track. That's how our relationship got started. Okay. Because she invested in my value. Awesome. Yes, I did. Uh, honey, why you got to give that look like leading on to more things? No, I'm just... <laughs> All right, so, 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 where were we? <laughs> Learn how to love it, but don't yes. date it. And I, 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 I seen Peter said uh, earlier... And good morning, um, Sam, my brother. You can't date everything you love. Right. Ooh. And I, I got a great question. Yes, honey. So I want you to answer this question. Okay. Why do we say we love it? Do we really love it? Because if it's missing, if it's missing from our life, mm -hmm. is it a love or is it just a, you know, a like, longing? Yeah. Is it love or longing? Because, you know, we always want what we don't have. Oh. I'm just saying. I said it. Yes, I said it. And then you get it, and you don't love it so much. You're like, oh, why is it on Zillas? What did I think it was going to do for me? Right? Um, that's a great question. Do I really love it? Do I love it because I'm not doing it, and I want it? And, and yeah, that's a great question. But, but I have something deeper. So now I remember, before you took us to the song, I knew exactly what I was going to talk about. Um, this is so deep. I think what happens is that we get the concept. We get an idea in our head. And we immediately tell ourselves what that's supposed to look like, right? So, like, for example, I remember when I started writing plays. And, and sometimes when you are creative, right, and you feel that your destiny is to create, you might think that that looks like stage plays and films. Because you're like, I love to tell a great story, right? Because I do. I'm, I'm you know... We have a book out. We have, you know, so I'm imaginative. So I love to paint pictures with stories. But what if it doesn't look the way that you expect it to look? Maybe the longing, the love is because you keep expecting it to look the way that you have it in your head. But I always tell people your blessing is never, ever, ever going to look like what you think. In fact, we just went through this and I'm not going to say too much. But first of all, there is a season for sowing. There is a season for mm -hmm. sowing and a season for reaping. You are not supposed to spend 365 days sowing, 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 sowing. At some point, right? At some point, you sow deep enough and then you sit back and you watch the harvest come and you reap. Right. If you feel yourself pushing and pushing 365 days, you should not be on the hunt 365 days. Because at some point, if it works, if the sowing was fruitful, if the sowing was was doing what it's supposed to do and divine, the reap, the harvest will come. And so and you have to believe. See, to me, constant sowing means you don't believe that something will be manifesting at the end. And so sometimes when you com continue to sow, you continue to change ideas, you continue to change flight. You're really telling the universe, I don't believe 
in the first thing that I sowed. I don't believe in it enough to see it through, to wait it out. Oh my God, I feel like I'm talking to somebody. So what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is that you have to sow and then you have to wait for the season of reaping. You guys, we're tired, we're weary because we're spending 365 days sowing and sowing, pushing and trying to convince someone to believe in us. And what happens is when you sow properly, when it is divine and you believe in that, right? Faith will see it through. Faith is the fact that you will be seeing a harvest. Now, you might not, every single seed you sowed might not turn out to be a viable crop, but if you sow these seeds, then you have to believe that they will harvest. You will reap the harvest. And I just told Demario, I said, you know what? The problem is people get weary, they get tired, they get frustrated because they spend 365 days sowing and sowing, and it is not designed for that. There's a season for sowing and a season for reaping. And this is why you can't chase everything every single dream. You know why? Every single dream is not designed to be chased. Some things are designed to be loved from afar, respected from afar. It's a nice thought, but you will run yourself ragged trying to chase the 200 dreams. You will not be living in the state of now. You'll be missing. You won't, you won't enjoy life. So I told Demario, I said, you know what? Don't cheat. Don't cheat on your future with your past habits. Yeah, we talked about that a couple, we always, of, a couple and, of shows ago. And yes. the universe rewards faith, and I'm going to say this, so watch this, right? If you really do believe in your dream, right, and so you put it out there, you've prayed on it, you know that it's right, you believe in it with everything, so into that for the season, right, and then wait for the harvest to come. What you really tell the universe when you don't see that first dream through and that second dream through and you're already on dream number seven before these ones can manifest, the universe is always listening. Whether you know it or not, the universe is listening. You're cheating on dream number one with dream number seven and you wonder why, right, you don't, you're not in perfect matrimony. You wonder why, because you're cheating on it. You didn't see it through. You didn't give it your all. So I'm trying to tell you all what I had to learn the hard way. Learn how to love it, but you don't have to date everything that looks good. Everything that oh. walks past you, you ain't got to, you can't take it all home oh, anyway. You know, you just, ooh, I got another story for you. I got another story. <laughs> Go ahead, honey, do it. You, this, is, this is a story. Do they, it. They're going to they gonna love it. Okay. Um, When I was in high school, I was shy. You were shy. I was shy in okay. school. Can you believe it? I was shocked. Are you going to tell a story? I think it is. Yes. Oh, my God. It, it relates right in here. I was very shy in school. So, therefore, yes, you know, as every young man in school, you might have a little crush that you see. No, I'm sorry, dear. I, I was Just younger. tell the story. I'm I, had, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had a crush on a young lady. Um, I would not say her name, even though I would never forget her name. But anyway, I, I had a crush on a young lady, and I spent my time figuring out how to ask her out. I'm talking about, we ain't talking about a day or two. We talking about almost half the school year. Like, okay, Demario, you can do this. You can ask her out. And in okay, your mind, you okay, saw this. Yeah. Mm, okay, and I'm looking at her, and every day she walked past, I'm like, you can do it. Not today. Not today. Not today. Okay, today. That day finally came. I think that day came when, oh, yes, I had just got a new car. Not a new car, oh, but you know, I had got convenient. a car. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. then I had more to offer. You know, I had Go the ahead. Volkswagen Beetle and I moved up to a Datsun 210. Y'all y'all from that time frame, y'all know Volkswagen, Datsun 210. You already know what time it was. My Datsun 210 had solar rims on it. I was confident. So I walked up to her and I asked her out. She said, yes, I'm celebrating. Yeah. She said, yes, I'm getting everything together because I'm, you know, shorty guy. She was a little taller. And I was like, oh, yeah, good. So I'm thinking about the McDonald's meal and everything. The McDonald's meal. Oh, well, you know, we, we was in high school. Oh, I didn't know what you. I thought you were saying she's a McDonald's. Meal. No, I was thinking about you know how many fries Two I can get. And, you know, yeah, <laughs> solar. Go but ahead. anyway, I went and picked her up. You know, car clean, smelling good. Got my money in my pocket. I picked her up. She gets in the car. We drive, and I'm like, hey. And she said, wait a minute. Uh oh. This is so stupid. Go ahead. She said, wait a minute. She opened up my car door, y'all. And she passed gas. See? She opened up the car. She, she passed gas. She said, oh, I'm sorry. I was holding that. This is so bad. I was shocked. Why are you moving away? Because I thought you were going to like toot yourself no, this no, way. No, no, no. You fine. <laughs> she passed gas. This is so inappropriate. <laughs> the date was over. Immediately over? Immediately. So, from that moment, from that day, 
that was what we talking years ago. It he ruined never, it. I looked at her from never. every day after that was like the crush might have still been there, but I knew right, right that I could not date her. Right. This is hilarious. That was that was a it was just really a horrible story, and that's when I learned how to love it from afar, but don't date it. But don't date it. <laughs> well, because well, the thing is, and, and I, you guys, you see what you see what I go through. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, as the the new woman in his life, that was the first story that I ever got. So right, Peter, and I was like, what? So imagine his scrutiny now for for women who may want to. Anyway, this is a, that's no, it's not a scru- I didn't understand back then. Well, that you know, was, okay. we have another show. But yeah, but the point <laughs> is that it never looks the way that you want it to look, and it's to your point. Is it really a love for it, or is it a longing and, that I haven't done it yet? I gotta see it, and that's the thing. And ooh, to married men and and women. So th- this is really what this breaks down to. Imagine that your dreams are a whole bunch of fine people walking in the mall, but you're walking with the one dream that you have, the one that you love, right? And um and you know, it, it, vice versa. I didn't discount because you're not blind, and you see some beautiful people, what right? You, mean you ain't blind. I'm saying you ain't going either. Cut the camera off. <laughs> Commercial break. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll be back. No, but um, you're in the mall, and b- just because you see every fine thing, right, handsome thing walking past you, you can't go talk. It's impossible. It is impossible to try to quote unquote holla or talk to or entertain everything that looks good. So when we talk about learn how to love but don't date, what we're really speaking about is your dream and your vision. You have a lot of good looking visions. They walk past, right? You think it's the one, but the problem is that you just cannot afford to date every single one because for one, you won't be being fair Right to the dream, and Kat asked a good question. Kat said, "How do you determine which dream to follow if you have more than one?" And Kat, let me say this really quick. I don't suggest at all that you can only do one dream before you die. Right there, there are gonna be some dreams that you fulfill. I know I've already fulfilled like probably eight of mine. But what I'm saying is this: the one that I found as I've matured in my life. The best dreams are the ones that you love, that you're passionate about, you're capable of doing, and they positively impact others. I found out that dreams that are just for me are not always the best dreams because after I'm dead and gone, I haven't left anyone better. I haven't done anything. So for me, right, the best dreams, in my opinion, are the ones where I I have a gift of doing something that impacts and changes the world for someone else. And so, Kat, you're doing that. I honestly love your vision with the Welcome Veteran Project because you took your experience as something you're passionate about and you're seeing it through and it's going to impact hundreds of veterans all around the world in the U.S. So hopefully that gives you some insight. And Kat, once you stand that up, once you stand that up, whatever the next dream is, once you see that one through, you can have a selfish dream too. But I would say the ones to stand up first that matter the most are the ones that impact many. I want to add something on to that. Sometimes if you really think about your dream, and I'll just give you a quick example. You know, we always talk about I'm I'm being a musician, and I love trying to figure out how to play a song because I never had, like, technical lessons on any instrument, but I figured out how to play them. Mm -hmm. And I figured out that the same process I use into figuring out how to play that guitar chord or that lick It's the same mentality I have when it goes into building a website Mm -hmm. or when it goes into doing some type of ad campaigns, doing press releases and putting it out there. It's the same mentality. I have to figure out the best way to play it to make it sound beautiful. So what I'm saying there, sometimes if you have multiple dreams, it might not be the thing of the dream. It might be the process you used in order to achieve it that you're actually longing for. So if you're creative, and you say, I like stage plays. I like creating stage plays. Well, no. It might not look like that. You right. like creating yeah. something into a big, you know, like it got to so, manifest yeah. big. Yeah. And you want other people to see it. So, therefore, it might be something else. So, I would say this right here. Don't be so married to your dream that you tunnel vision yourself based on one topic. Mm-hmm. Think about because you are spiritual. You are talented. You are gifted. You can do a ton of things. We talked about yesterday. The tools in your toolbox. Yes. Yes. So sometimes your dreams are like the tools in, in your, your toolbox, toolbox. But you yeah. got that one tool 
Yeah. That's going to manifest. And then I would say this too. Now, mm-hmm. I shut up about it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, because we have a nine o'clock call. Go ahead, well, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead, honey. One dream is always going to be the winner over other dreams. Uh oh. Say, you better say it, boy. I'm with you there, baby. You know what I'm about to say? I know what you're about to say, honey. I know you. The one dream that's going to be the winner over other dreams is the one dream that can pay you to even sit there comfortably and think about the other dreams. Uh oh. You better. You, you know. know what? Do you Don't know be what? dreaming, bro. Hey, hey. <laughs> so listen, and, and this is this is the other thing. Because, and I have to say this, men and women, before we get married or if we ever get married, when we, we have an ideal mate in our head. We have a picture of what that looks like. But what happens is if you are so sold out to that picture and that vision, because all it is is a vision until it manifests. If you become sold out to that vision, you might not be able to see when the real thing comes your way because you can't see it for what it is. You see the picture. You think it's going to look like this, but the perfect package comes wrapped in different uh, wrapping. It looks like something else. It will still give you the quality. Hell, it'll even give you a better experience than you could have imagined, but you're so tunnel vision on what you think it's supposed to look like. So you can't even see it. So my point is... Right, my point is this yeah. is why <laughs> Stage one. this is why manifesting itself, let it be what it's supposed to be. There's your plan is not better than God's plan for your life. Ooh. Your plan, you can't Ooh. even begin to outplan what he Ooh. has for you. So just because you have the talent, he has the plan. Ooh, that sounds like another show next okay. week. So are you riding in the back seat with God or are you trying to drive? Oh, boy, you better say it. Are you riding? So, you know, I I said yesterday, and this is just cool. Yeah. How many of you have been on a long trip with somebody else driving, and you were so comfortable on that trip that you laid back in the seat and went to sleep? And went to sleep. And when you woke up, you was there. See, sometime in life, that's what you have to do. If it's a divine mission, and it's, it's already laid out there for you. Just sit on the path side, do what you need to do, and lay back, relax, and, and go trust to sleep. the process. Stop. Oh, you, we need to turn left. We can get there quicker. Navigation say we can go around. Stop. Stop. We yeah. talked about it in a couple other shows. Take several seats in your business. <laughs> and um, I, I seen something that Paul said. Um, Paul said he never really watched something like this. I'll tell you what, Paul. One thing you need to do, you need to go to... GoodMorningSuccessTV.com and take a look at all the previous episodes and I'm pretty sure there's some nuggets for you there. Yes, Paul. Thanks for tuning in, my friend. Um, all right, you guys. So this has been great. I have a nine o'clock. I need to go prepare real quick. Uh, Peter says I can ride in the back seat with Good Morning Success. Hey, hey, hey. You know it. This, you, come you, on. We, yes, yes. We're Cru- going. Cruise Destination control. unknown. <laughs> right. Cruise control and all. All right, you guys, we love you very much. We do this out of love. This is an extension of our relationship, daily inspiration for the driven. We are running a campaign. If you have a business or a brand, send us your cup, and we will drink out of your cup and happily talk about your business on our show. This has been Good Morning Success, and uh, until next time, stay on the grow with Dawn Nicole and Mario. Peace.